Hi friends, so welcome to all. In this video, we are going to uh, discuss packet tracer activity, help and navigation tips uh, using the latest packet tracer version that is 7.2. We will have all the packet tracer activity videos in future. So stay tuned and consider subscribing. Right, coming to our activity, here we can see the objectives, overview of the packet tracer program. We will go to step 1, access the packet tracer help pages, tutorial videos and online resources. Coming to A, access the packet tracer help pages in two ways. Click the question mark icon in the top right hand corner of the menu toolbar or click the help menu and then choose contents. Nothing here it says uh, how we can access the packet tracer help pages. So coming to our uh, packet tracer uh, at the uh, right side. Here we can see this question mark, we can click on this so that it will open this Cisco Packet Tracer help. Even we can open this page in another way. Coming to our Packet Tracer, here we can see menu help. Here we can see contents, so we have to click on this contents and the same page will open. Now we will come to B. Access the Packet Tracer tutorial videos by clicking Help Tutorials. These videos are a visual demonstration of the information found in the help pages and various aspects of the Packet Tracer software program. Before proceeding with this activity, you should gain some familiarity with the Packet Tracer interface and simulation mode. Right, so Cisco is providing some Packet Tracer tutorial videos. So coming to our Packet Tracer, here we can see that. Coming to help and here we can see tutorials. Here for getting this packet tracer tutorials, uh, we may have to connect to internet. Here uh, view the interface overview video in the getting started section of tutorials. Also uh, view the simulation environment video in the real time and simulation mode section of tutorials. Here in this packet tracer tutorial, so here we can see uh, getting started and the interface overview. So we will uh, click on this interface overview and here we can see the video. So you can uh, go through each packet tracer tutorials uh, what they are given here. Logical workspace, configuring devices. And here we can see real-time and simulation modes, simulation environment. Yes, so once you go through this uh, packet tracer contents, uh, you will gain some familiarity with this packet tracer. Coming to C, find the configuring devices using the desktop tab tutorial. Watch the first part of the tutorial and answer the following question. What information can you configure in the IP configuration window? Here I request you to go through this uh, uh, tutorial and uh, find the answer uh, for this question. Well, now we will come to step 2, toggle between real time and simulation modes. Coming to A. Find the word real-time in the bottom right corner of the packet tracer interface. In real-time mode, your network is always running like your real network, whether or not you are working on the network. Your configurations are performed in real-time and the network responds in your real-time. Coming to our packet tracer, uh, here we can see our real-time and simulation modes. Coming to B. Click the tab directly behind the real-time tab to switch to simulation mode. In simulation mode, you can watch your network run at a slower pace, observing the paths that data takes and inspecting the data packets in detail. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see now this real-time is highlighted. Now we will click on this simulation mode.
and here we can see now uh, simulation mode is uh, highlighted and we are in this uh, simulation mode coming to C in the simulation panel click auto capture or play you should now see data packets represented as envelopes of various colors traveling between the devices also click auto capture or play again to pause the simulation coming to our simulation panel here we can see that also we can see here play controls we will click on this play button and here we can see some packets are generated We are going to uh, click on this play button again. Coming to E. Click capture or forward to step through the simulation. Click the button a few more times to see the effect. Coming back to our packet tracer. Uh, here we can see uh, three buttons. Uh, play controls. This is uh, auto capture or play and this is capture then forward. So one by one we can uh, capture and then forward. Here we can see that. Again we will click on this capture or forward. Then we can see the packets are sent. Or we, we can play this uh, auto play. So if we click again, it will pause. Coming to F. In the network topology on the left, click one of the envelopes on an intermediary device and investigate what is inside. Over the course of your CCNA studies, we will learn the meaning of most everything inside these envelopes. For now, see if you can answer the following questions. Coming to our packet tracer, here we can see an intermediary device uh, that is R2. We will click on this envelope and here we can see a PDU information at device R2. We will see what is our first question. Under the OSI model tab, how many in layers and out layers have information? So coming to our OSI model tab, here we can see that. In layers and out layers, so here we can see out layers, all seven layers are disabled. And here in in layers, we can see layer 3, layer 2 and layer 1, we have some informations. And uh, uh, layer 4, 5, 6 and 7 uh, are disabled. Here when you check with your uh, packet tracer activity, uh, this answer may vary. Okay, we will go to the next question. Under the inbound PDU details and outbound PDU details tab, what are the headings of the main sections? So in this PDU information, we have only inbound PDU details and we don't have outbound PDU details. Anyways, we will click on this inbound PDU details. And here we can see PDU format, Ethernet IP, OSPF hello etc coming to the next question uh, click back and forth between the inbound PDU details and outbound PDU details tab do you see information changing if so what anyway so here in this uh, PDU information we have only inbound PDU details coming to G click the toggle button above simulation in the bottom right corner to return to real-time mode Right, so we will uh, click on our real time mode. Now we are in real time mode. Now we will come to step 3 toggle between logical and physical views. Coming to A, find the word uh, logical in the top left corner of the packet tracer interface. So you are currently in the logical workspace where you will spend the majority of your time building, configuring, investigating, and troubleshooting networks. In our packet tracer, here we can see that uh, logical and physical and uh, currently we are in this uh, logical space. 
the given a note here although you can add a geographical map as the background image for the logical workspace it does not usually have any relationship to the actual physical location of devices right that is not much important here so we will go to b click the tab below logical to switch to the physical workspace the purpose of the physical workspace is to give a physical dimension to your logical network topology. It gives you a sense of scale and placement, how your network might look in a real environment. Okay, we are going to click on this physical workspace. And here we can see. Here I will click on this uh, home city and here we can see the physical workspace. So we can go back uh, using this uh, symbol. Okay, coming to C. During your CCNA studies, uh, we will use this workspace on occasion. Uh, for now, just know that it is available for you to use. To learn more about the physical workspace, or refer to the help files and tutorial videos coming to d click the toggle button below physical in the top right corner to return to the logical workspace but here in this uh, new packet tracer uh, we can see this logical and physical uh, not uh, below it's just side by side so we can uh, click on a uh, logical and now we are in logical workspace Sure, they're given a challenge. Now that you have had an opportunity to explore the network represented in this packet tracer activity, you may have picked up a few skills that you would like to try out. Or maybe you would like the opportunity to explore this network in more details. Recognize that most of what you see and experience in packet tracer is currently beyond your skill level. However, here are some challenges you might want to attempt. Do not worry if you cannot do them all. You, you will be a packet tracer master user and a network designer soon enough. Yes, obviously we will be. Here we can see add an entity device to the topology and connect it to one of the LANs with a media connection. What else does this device need to send data to other end users? Can you provide the information? Is there a way to verify that you correctly connected to the device? Okay, we will add an entity device uh, to this uh, central uh, network. Here we can see our PC. Coming to connections. Copper straight through. We will connect this uh, PC0 to fast Ethernet 0 to this intermediary uh, switch S2. We will connect to fast Ethernet 0 slash 1. Suppose if this PC wants to send the data to other devices, uh, we have to set this IP address, uh, then the submit to mask, default gateway, etc. Here we can see that we have to configure all this information. If we observe these uh, ports, here we can see it shows green. Here we can see that. So we can verify that we uh, correctly connected to uh, the device. Coming to the next challenge. Add a new intermediary device to one of the networks and connect it to one of the LANs or WANs with a media connection. Uh, what else does this device need in order to serve as an intermediary to other devices in the network? Here we will go to switches and we will use a 3560 switch. And we will connect using copper crossover faster third zero slash one to faster third zero slash one here we may have to configure uh, this uh, uh, intermediary uh, device also we may have to add some uh, end devices uh, to this uh, intermediary device 
so that this device will serve as an intermediary device. Coming to the next challenge, open a new instance of Packet Tracer. Create a new network with at least two LANs connected by a WAN. Connect all the devices. Investigate the original Packet Tracer activity to see what else you might need to do to make your new network functional. Record your thoughts and save your Packet Tracer file. You may want to uh, revisit your network later after you have mastered a few more skills. Anyways, I am not going to uh, implement this challenge here. I request all of you to uh, try this challenge yourself. Well, that's all in this packet tracer activity that is help and navigation tips. Dear friends, if you have any doubt, any suggestions, please comment below. And I expect all the support and sharing from my viewers. Also, if you like to get my future uploading video info, consider subscribing. We will meet again with the next video. Thank you.